Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different Xbox One game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I am joined on the mic by Brian and Alejandro. Good evening. Hello, welcome everybody. And we're going to play some Neon Chrome for Xbox One. It, is, it comes from Finnish studio 10 Tons, makers of Spellspire, Crimson Land, and other games, Tennis in the Face. It's available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Vita, Steam. And in fact, as we live stream this, it is currently a free game on PS Plus. So if you have a PlayStation Plus, you definitely should grab it. And if you don't have PlayStation Plus and you're watching us live, then you should enter our contest and win a free copy. So this game supports Very nice. single player and local co-op for up to four players. We are going to play it single player. Balls to the face. That would be awesome, Narco. But yeah, probably not. <laughs> That'd be a hard sell. That'd be a hard <laughs> sell. So check it out. The premise here is there is this futuristic tower. This is in the far future. It's a cyberpunk thing like Blade Runner. Every This tower holds over a million people. So it's like a, a city, but it's a, a big tower, and it's run by a computer. And a single guy basically run is jacked into the computer, and he controls the tower, and he's gone crazy. So... It's a dystopian place to live, and we play as a hacker. This guy I am is a hacker who is fighting the power, so to speak. And I, it's a roguelike, so interestingly, I don't personally go into battle. Instead, I jack into this chair, and then I select a character from three people who are, for some reason, I don't get why, but you've got these three people to choose from. Each one has a different class and different little abilities. And anyway, we're going to send them into battle. And the tower's got like 30-something floors. You don't have to always start at the beginning. I mean, it's a roguelike, but you don't always have to start at the beginning. There's like checkpoint levels. If you beat a boss, you can start at the level after the boss. But instead, we're going to start at the beginning for this stream. Yeah, so let's cool. go. And yeah. by the way, there was a uh, Blade Runner reference oh. in there. One of the characters' name last name was oh. Deckard. And that's the last Not name perfect. of the main character. Nice. Yeah, so you can see, here's the different levels of the tower. We are going to hop right in. First impression is, I almost felt like you were inside like a computer case, you know, one of those flashy ones with lights <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, it does, I mean, it certainly has that kind of aesthetic. It's neon, very, I like neon lights, yeah. Very neon cyberpunk. This is like a semi-sequel right. to Blade Runner, I'm sorry, to Crimson Land. They made a twin-stick shooter called Crimson Land, which is one of my favorite twin-stick shooters, although it's a little old-looking. But it's a really fun game, and this game, it's a, a big upgrade over that. Like, they've added some story. You know, you've got the roguelike structure that adds more replay value. And there's just a whole lot more to the game. But if you've played Crimson Land, which you should if you like this genre, then it's, it's really cool to see how it's evolved. And also, they sell it in a bundle with Crimson Land for $5 off if you wanted both games. Yeah. That's not bad. Always good to have a nice deal. So because this is, you know, a, an automated kind of thing, a tower with, it's got like lots of drones and things that are triggered only when you get close. Ha! Ah. Uh, look, look at Maze hating on Crimson hey, Land. Maze. No, Crimson Land is really fun. What would Maze know? He doesn't even like but co-hosting. You, you're kind of partial. You're kind of partial to the uh, twin stick genre. Yeah, so. exactly. But I mean, like, I know Crimson Land is visually kind of old looking because it is an older game and they brought it forward to the modern era, but they didn't really revamp the visuals much. But yeah, just the way the game is set up where you're always unlocking things, that's a really good setup and that's fun. But this one, one of the things, let's talk about what a roguelike is real quick. You know, roguelikes are games which you can't continue after you die is a big thing. You always have to start from the beginning. Although this one does have that checkpoint system that I talked about. And how do we open that? Use the key. Okay. They also have randomized levels. So how long, how long is the game? I mean, how much back does that take you? Like if you're advanced a couple of levels, will you still be able to get after? to continue after a few levels, or do you have to start from the very yeah, beginning? Yeah, like I was saying earlier, when you beat a boss, you can start on the level after a boss, after the boss. So, at least you, you don't actually have to start all the Oh, I see, I see. Start. So you don't have to repeat the boss, you can Yeah, just and that's, after. other roguelikes usually nice. would not let you do that, but this one is a little more forgiving in that respect. 
It's just you, Mace. Indeed. No, it's not just you, it's me too. Mixer's been doing that lately. Guys, if the video is completely smooth for you, let us know. But another thing about roguelikes is generally the levels are randomized, like the design is randomly generated. And that's good for, for variety, because the game is different every time you play. That applies here too. Oops. Yeah, Mace, I'm also seeing a bit of a skip every now and then. Um... Oh cool, Puny sees it fine. Yeah, this is just a thing since they switched over to yeah, Mixer, it's... sometimes the video is fine for some people and skippy for others. Yeah, yeah I had to turn off low latency, it was, the, the FTL was really choppy. That's a bummer. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. It's... So they... <laughs> Making this technology their central techno, you know, technology for the, for the service is not a great uh... idea. If they can't get it working perfectly, it's not a great well, idea. We well, we can't be yeah, critical, Brian, so we gotta be careful. I'm sorry, control. but I can't. I help just, it. but I just used his his tip though, turning off low latency, and now it looks smooth like almond milk. Yeah, it's it gets it's smooth without uh, FDR. Yeah, it's good. yeah, surprising, but it's nice. Uh, so ah. try that, Maze. I hope so it works for you. Maze is asking you to rate this against Hotline uh, Miami. You know, I personally don't care for Hotline Miami, so I'm not the best one to do that. Like, I think Hotline Miami is mean-spirited, <laughs> and I just... That's not my jam, you know? Like, I don't like mean games very much. I reviewed another... It was a twin-stick shooter, but a platformer one, so a little bit different. What was that game called, though? It was like a... Uh, God, it was only about a month ago. It had tiny little graphics. Maze and other people complained about the graphics. Um, anyway, that sounds familiar. I can't remember the name. Yeah, I, I mean, it didn't leave much of an impression on me, except that I didn't like the theme. Because you play as a, you're like the Terminator, and your job is to wipe out the last remnants of humanity. So you go to different places where humans are still left, and kill them all. Jeez. And that just oh, wow. is not my jam. Uh, let's see. So you have these upgrades you can get. You'll find upgrade stations and get them installed. And they're they're only good for the oh, duration nice. of the game, you know, until you die. But still, they're helpful. Let's see, speed and health increase, clip size, double clip size. That would be pretty good. Uh, Thanks for the host. Yeah, that BX Latino. We're gonna go with speed and health. And I've got some several more slots, so if I can live long enough, then I'll get more abilities. Do you have to hack at any point, like to? Got through the well, my guy is a like hacker, that? but hacking it's like automated. You just push A, you know. So let's see, I can switch to a plasma ah. shotgun, but ah. it looks like it's worse. So, anyway, here's the level exit. It's an elevator. We go on to the next level. Number two, okay. But you find all these little boxes with crates, and they give you money, and that's what I was going to say earlier. Bes another thing with roguelikes is some of them have. There's something called the metagame, you know, because like with a roguelike you can't continue, right? But a well-designed roguelike has elements that carry over between games, like some way to improve your condition so that the next game is a little easier or a, a little better in some way. And so this, yeah, this one oh, has mm -hmm. upgrades you can get using the money you find in the levels. So you want to collect a lot of money and then you can permanently upgrade your health and stuff, and that way your next run is going to be a little easier. That's a good thing. Cool. Yeah. So when you die, do you just get whatever you have all the way till that checkpoint? And then you have to pick up things again, I suppose. Uh, I mean, you don't you don't keep anything when you die, you know, except for your money, which you can spend in the hub area where we were earlier. Okay. I like the currency symbol, by the way. It's it, oh, funny. there we go. I just hacked and turned off that rotating alarm thing. Ah. Yeah, it turns oh, out nice. I had to press and hold yeah. A for that, not just tap it. So that's something. Aha. It's not such an automated also, hacker, you have to put your effort <laughs> into it. As this hacker guy, I've got a little <laughs> hacker drone. It's got its own life meter, so I guess I could lose it if it doesn't get healed. I don't know if there's even a way to heal it. Ah, crap. I... And you have a melee attack, too. I don't use melee very much, but it's an option. Well, you'd have to get really close to uh, melee yeah. something. <laughs> that might not. You usually want to avoid idea. that, but if yeah. they're in your face, then it is a good idea. And there's upgrades you can get, so, you know, like at those upgrade stations that will increase your melee damage. This is Everything cool. seems to shoot something really 
wild, so yeah, getting close is probably... Unless you sneak from behind or something like and that. I just upgraded my weapon, it increased the damage it did a little bit. You can find these upgrade stations that just upgrade the current weapon you're carrying. So if I was to switch weapons, then it wouldn't help me anymore. But if I like this weapon, well, hey, it just got a little bit better. And I do want to switch weapons eventually, but still. Like, whatever kind of help I can get. Ah! Okay. Where did my little drone go? Did I actually lose it? I think I lost it, because I don't see it. Uh, yeah, I think it got destroyed by the uh, lasers. That the that rotating laser thing. thing. Here's another place to get an upgrade. Install cybernetics. No. 3,000 credits once and instantly. That's actually a lot of credits. But I would rather be able to last longer, so we're just going to improve our health. Bam, lots more health. Cool. Yeah, Maze, you know, I do it. I can. Good pace, I like it. I'm always looking out for you guys, one way or another. By the way, guys, don't forget, next weekend we are not going to have a Saturday live stream unless Jez or somebody just randomly does one, but we're not going to have a Saturday game school episode because I will be away for E3. E3 does not actually nice. start until Tuesday, but I'm getting into town on Saturday because there's stuff going on Sunday. Microsoft has their press conference, which sadly I am not going to be attending, and that's it'll be the first year I haven't attended it in a long time. But I am attending Bethesda's press conference, and that's cool because Bethesda's is more fun because there's an open bar and free candy. And also probably free food again. Which free food city? is good. Which Los city Angeles. is this at? Is this in Texas? Oh, Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah, E3 is almost always in yeah. Los Angeles. Back in the day, they used to do it in Georgia sometimes, I think. But... Yeah, they used to do it in San Francisco for a little bit, and then uh, a few other, I think a few other different places, and then they've pretty much settled on yeah, L.A. It, hmm. L.A. is a really good place, although I like San Francisco more than L.A., but L.A. is still nice to visit. Gotcha. Has there been any talks of uh, MixerCon or some <laughs> uh, I think conference like that? I think be a little more popular before that happens. <laughs> Throw in the subtle shade, Paul. No, just being realistic. <laughs> I think it has quite a few people streaming. There's always people on a regular basis. It's if growing. If anything, switching names, so. you know, switching the branding, that's going to hurt it for a while. And then it'll be, you know, before people learn the new name and it kind of gets back to where it was, in my opinion. Although, of course, Microsoft yeah. is promoting it on the Xbox dashboard and stuff, and that's good. Right. But yeah, rebranding is always a dangerous thing. It sets you back for a while, and then you have to get back to where you were. We went through the same thing at Windows Central. We used to be Windows Phone Central, and before that, I think we had a different name. Something to do with Windows Mobile. Windows Mobile Experts, that was it. What was it? was like ah, Zoom. Man, was long time ago. I thought it was <laughs> Zoom Central. <laughs> no, that would have been fun. <laughs> Poor Zoom. Great little piece of hardware that Microsoft nice. never supported properly. True because Microsoft is going to Microsoft. Well, Microsoft has really gotten into the hardware game quite a bit better lately, especially with, like, your surfaces and things oh, yeah, of that nature. You know, the Surface is the pre premier device of its type. Yeah, they're keeping really. the Surface going well, and that just means that they have an executive who's staying there and likes it, you know? But if, the, if that executive was to be replaced by somebody less competent or just less enthusiastic about the surface then you'd see the that whole product line diminish i mean that's just how microsoft does things it's a bad way to do things yeah probably Let's see well you know it's it's you know it, it it reminds me a little bit of how valve does business whereas if you if you get a, a person you know a, a a developer that's really passionate about a specific project um <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, somebody who's really passionate about a specific project, you know, th things will actually happen. But if you know nobody's passionate about it, nothing's going to happen. But I mean, there's been so many times over the years that Microsoft had a good, very promising product, and they just failed to support it, or they started out supporting it, but then the management changed, and then the product died. You know, that happened to games for Windows Live. It happened to Windows Phone. It's just, uh, it's a shame. Yep. Well, it was Wait. a different company. I think the company that it is right now, quite frankly, I, I think it has surpassed Apple in so many ways. 
that Apple has a conference next week and there's a lot of speculation because they, they have fallen behind. They used to be a, a leader and I think Microsoft with the Surface started something completely cool. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, they, now they, everybody's they, copying that. They've defined a genre and that's kind of what they were set out to do. They just didn't think right? that it was going to get popular. <laughs> no, they probably didn't. Yep. They're like, hey, this is kind of a neat thing. You know, let's let's try it out and see if we sell a couple hundred of them. And they sold. I forget the Surface RT was kind of a, a dumb idea, but at least they don't have well, that they, anymore, right? They killed yeah. it pretty quick. They oh, learned yeah. from that mistake pretty fast. They only made two Surface RTs: mm -hmm. the Surface uh, Two and the original Surface RT. My mom still uses her, so I man, it's I mean, so, for what it is, it's, it's not so terrible. slow. Like I. I don't know how you could enjoy but, using a product that operates so slowly, you know, it'd be like having a cheap Android tablet, like a real cheap one. Well, well if all you're, if all you're doing is, uh... She browses the web, that's what Browsing the web is that's probably a, okay. I suppose. I mean, wait, I just can't be happy that way. I gotta, things have to load decently fast for me. But yeah, my, my daughter, she uses hers a little bit too, because I got a Surface RT when, right when they came out for like a hundred bucks, you know, I got a good deal on it. But that's oh, what it, wow. if, yeah, if you paid a hundred dollars really? for it, that's, that's a good price, because what was the real price, like 300 or 200? Uh, it was 500. No, it was, yeah, it was five, because I, I bought this, the first Surface Pro that came out, the chunky one, and... That was a yeah. thousand. Yeah, that, yeah, that was more expensive, and, and man, I love that thing, I loved it. I got that for 400 was also good yeah, yeah and that was for attending wow, the man, that's that's a good the deal. wpc the windows Jeez. partner conference oh, cool. can i work for you <laughs> <laughs> you could go to the winners i mean i'm sure you would qualify for going alejandro but they the problem is they do it in a different city every year they had it in houston the one year so i got to go and then every other year oh, oh. like it's been in canada it's been in all kinds of crazy places and it's like so it's random who even gets to go to the thing Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit odd. It's, uh, it's kind of like um, Microsoft's big systems admin conference. It moves around every year. So, you know, if it's close to you and you can go, great. Yeah. But next year, they're going to have it on the other side of the country. Yeah, I'm surprised hey, we, nobody had my work with us because we're Microsoft partners. And we that don't... seems odd, although it is very expensive to go. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's, that's probably uh, why. <laughs> normal ticket price is $2,500. Man, I still haven't yeah. found a gun I like yeah. better than this gun yet. Oh well. I'll be, but hey, boss, I get a, a surface for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have loved to have gone to Canada just to at least see it once, you know, and I would have tried to meet Adam too, but it wasn't in the cards. I mean, because they don't they don't announce a lot of news there, so for my job, it wasn't like I got a, I got one or two stories out of attending the Houston one, but it's like there's no guarantee you'll get any stories from it. And walking around, they've got all these booths, yeah. but they're all booths with like developer tools and stuff like it's nothing that our audience would care about yeah well the issue with the systems admin conference is it's all nda so you can't talk about it yeah that wouldn't be any fun yep that that too that oh too. we got a one-way door going here hey i saw earlier you hit this pink it looked like a well what was it did you remember a well in this game it was, it was something, yeah, it was a, a bright pink thing by a wall, and it looked like a well. I, I cannot describe it any other way, but you, you stopped it and grabbed something and it moved on. Maybe it was just a station where you pick up stuff, or was it something special? Uh, I mean, it sure wasn't anything special. Ah, this place, oh, uh, this is the first okay. boss level, by the way. Oh, cool. I'm... Oh, there's a thing on the wall spitting yeah, stuff at I you. didn't realize those could be destroyed, but that's good to know, because I'm about to have to go fight that... Darn boss, health is full, that's good. Ah, God. <laughs> and there is an achievement for beating the boss, of course. Yeah, and, nice. and for beating other bosses as well. So, one thing you want to do is run around and get all the money you can. But I also need to be balancing that with shooting the darn boss. Oh, I can't open that <laughs> yet. Oh my, he's rather creepy looking. Yeah. Just a big version of the uh, little guy. So. He still looks like a bunch. spider drone. Ah! And he can shoot me through the wall. Ah! Stop that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, That's... he's knocked down the wall, so he can't shoot so, through the wall. So, strategically... Because there isn't one. Right now, what I should be doing is destroying those spider drone generators just to make life easier. 
Very true. Uh, melee doesn't work very well on that. Is his health that low? Hexagon that shows up in above his head? Is that a big mirror at the top of the screen. Oh, I see. Holy cow. Dude. Ah! Dang. God. Uh -oh. Yeah. The music here could be a lot more epic than it is. I, I think it has changed, but it's still not very epic in my opinion. Oh, the uh, the hexagon around him, I think, is his uh, his current ammo. Yeah, current that's what it is. Before he has current. to reload. Okay. So you do have a brief moment of safety where you can just shoot at him, and load on him. Just like loading, and then boom. Yeah, but that beam that he's got that can see through, knock down walls from afar, and man, he just yeah. hits you right there. That does not surprise me, Narco. Uh, the 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 airlines, they're yeah. uh, they're crazy. What? Wow. Can't figure out how to get into this room, and there's health and stuff in it. A bunch of boxes in the way. Nah, uh, knock down one of the walls. Okay, what about? I suppose there's no jump. No. It's this. What do you call this? this is it like 2.5D? Uh, yeah, technically it is. Yeah, sort of. It's top down. 2.7. Isometric. Yeah, I mean, usually you only use. Like, 2.5D is mostly used to describe uh, platformers, mostly, you know? But it is technically a 2.5D mm. game. Oops. So, how do I get in here? Look at that. I can't break that. Oh, I broke that one. Mm. Oh, okay, those broke. You should just rent a car, Narco. <laughs> it's probably cheaper. <laughs> Money. I actually found out it's cheaper for my work to rent me a car for a day than it is for them to pay me to drive my own car when I have to go off-site. Huh. So oh, yeah. I might have to talk to them about that because I don't like putting miles on my car. You know, I'm I don't either. one of those people. Yeah, I'm flying. I'm traveling. I'm not flying. I'm driving. Ah! I'm the night. I'm gonna I rent a car. Just a different yeah. attack. Oh man. His health is full, uh, dark, Darker Player. You, his health is the ring around yeah. his character. Oh, yeah. oh man, he's trashing everything. Look at the, the wall's almost gone. Wow, yeah, he, uh... <laughs> he's he ah, a little crazy. Ah, no, stop. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thailand. I Thailand, from what I understand, is a, a, an, an expensive place to get to, but once you're there, it's not so expensive. Probably not. A uh, co-worker of mine went there on vacation recently. Nice. Yeah, he, uh, he said it was pretty inexpensive once you get there, but getting there is not easy. And it's like a 14 or 15 hour flight. Dang. Uh, yeah, I think my Riga flight was 12 hours to Europe, you know, deep Europe. <laughs> Maybe 13. I yeah, forget. it's like, uh, it's... I want to say it's like an eight or nine hour flight from uh, New York or Toronto to Europe. Wow. And from Miami, it's like an 11 hour flight. I guess that's to like the main inland, like not to London, because London is, or England, the, the, I, I, is that an island? I guess you call it island or whatever. No man is an island, oh, that's uh, true. That area, I, I flew to Dublin years Booked ago. In. And, I feel like it was a 10-hour flight from Seattle to New Jersey, New Jersey to Dublin, and it was five hours each. Like, really? No. Uh, now, keep in mind, it was several years ago, so I could be that's, wrong. That's that's way too fast. Yeah, to Dublin will be a little shorter. It might be like seven or eight hours, maybe Lit. seven. Because Dublin, was maybe Dublin's a little closer. Any Irish viewers? That's what I want to know. That is a good question. Uh, eight, it's it should be about two or six They're from Seattle to New York, and then another seven or eight from New York to Dublin. Oh, then maybe a month by three hours. Toronto, Paris is seven hours. Uh, that's not what I saw when I was looking at plane tickets. New kind of enemy. He has to aim at you. And there's a shield guy too. Oh yeah, I saw it's, that. It's it's six hours. 30 minutes. 6 hours and 30 minutes. That's pretty yep. good. Yeah, it's not... I remember it not being... 
too bad. Like, huh. maybe Air guys. France just fly oh, slowly. Held... They're too busy. The goes to Glasgow. Yeah. Ah. Front to Glasgow, six hours. So six remember, hours. everybody, you don't have to fight that. Like, okay. you don't have to fight a boss more than once. Once you beat the boss, you can just always start on the levels after that if you want. It just depends on how you want to play. Like, starting at the beginning gives you more chance to get upgrades and stuff for later in the game. But it, obviously, is more time-consuming. Is there any benefit of repeatedly beating a boss? I mean, well, just like I said, starting at the money. beginning, you'll earn more money and have more chance to have upgrades for later. Use Vampire Booster. Okay, what does that do? Vampire attack. Oh, just a temporary power up. It looks like it's got a little meter. All right, oh, let's cool. try that out because I do need some health. Vampire booster, yeah. huh? Loot. Give me that loot. Oh, item two out of fourteen unlocked in chapter two. Cyberware, Neocore skill wires. Boost weapon reload speed by twenty percent. Install the upgrade in the Cyberhands Express Chamber. So, this is an upgrade that I can permanently use. I just have to activate it. So I don't know if that means you can only have one upgrade at a time or what. But that's cool though. Get some money. Near nice. wire. Like it. Lots of breakable glass windows or walls or whatever. Things like that. Which is neat. Yeah, it looks like the things that are breakable are uh, highlighted by blue. Yeah, three can be on each side. So the little panels. Oh yeah. Ah. That's, that's that's what I see. That doesn't mean it's necessarily <laughs> the truth. You see a lot of things, Brian. That is true. That'd be kind of neat if you could break the glass uh, faces like the the street, and you could fall or throw enemies down. Yes, that would be neat. Man, that shield guy is wearing you out. We just melee him. There we go. Melee took care of him. Although he also hit me. Yep. <laughs> Brian sees old people everywhere. That's true. Florida. That is very true. I saw some lady today in a Corolla, I think, going like 20 in a 45. Oi. Yeah, it's pretty bad down there. So here. I'm gonna. In a, I can imagine an old pink Cadillac. Or I something just changed guns to an SMG. <laughs> no, no, they all drive Hyundai's and Toyotas. Oh, you said oh, Toyota. I mean, that's right. Toyotas are great, as are Hondas. We had bad experience with the Honda, but it doesn't mean they're all bad. So have I. Eh, the dealers are all terrible down here. The cars might be alright, but the dealers are all horrid. So. <laughs> 20 and a 45, pull them over. I, actually, you will get pulled over down here for doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> Some highways have minimum speed posted uh, here in St. Louis. They. They, they used to. Uh, they used to have minimum speeds posted down here, but they took them all down because uh, the old uh, people complain. Tra <laughs> no, the tra rush hour traffic doesn't facilitate it. Uh, oh yeah. And people, you know, sometimes might do a little crazy stuff, thinking they're they're gonna get a ticket for going too slow. Oh. Well, now they have those electric, electronic, excuse me, uh, meters. Like when there's traffic, they they lower the maximum speed. So that people don't, you know, go 60 when traffic is slow and they can potentially cause a, an accident. Uh, we don't now have I got an assault here. rifle. <laughs> Dang it. Really? What's wrong with that? Oh, wow, look, confetti and everything. Oh, hey, thank you for the subscription, Volavoy. We appreciate it. Ah! Oh, crap. Nice. That's dangerous. That's false cap. <laughs> no. Although I do have two. His name is Cup, Cup Fifi. <laughs> What a name. <laughs> uh, I doubt Joe, that I-9 is going to be anything... is going to be anything more than the extreme I-7s were previously. Quite frankly. Just a really expensive oddity. Take my money, I don't care. On this. <laughs> well, you're... 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 you got more money than... No. <laughs> you know no. what to do with. <laughs> I just like to like, end it. <laughs> like, I can oh. skip on heroin for a few months, it'll be fine. No. That's right. Let's see. Oh, we <laughs> can do it, Paul. You can do it. Here it goes. Beat the level. Woo. Yo, Royal Bob, good to see you. Hey, Bob. Royal Bob and I are planning to play some Victor Vran tonight, actually. I wanted to play with Alejandro yesterday, but no, he was playing hard to get. 
No, I was playing Battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Linus is a bit strange. I mean, his his videos can be good, but he's sometimes a little hyperbolic for me. The inventor of Linux? No, no. no, no. Linus no. Tech Tips. Uh, I like Jay's too, since he's good. He, he adds too many commercials to the beginning, but once you get to the meat of what he's doing, I, I think he's kind of okay. If you like breaking desks and office equipment, this game's good for that, because you can just smash a play. <laughs> Gets that stress out. Off his range. Yeah, sometimes it'll drop money, mostly yep. it doesn't. I think they should drop money more often just to encourage that behavior. Because breaking things is fun, man. Ah, I killed that guy before he could even turn around and face me. Come on, drone, get me. Yeah, this gun is really good. I would like a good spread gun. I don't know if they have any such thing. I haven't seen one. But if you could have like a nice wide spread shot, that would be fun. Oh yeah, to make maximum damage. So, talking about recent articles real quick, uh, I mostly took the week off. You know, like, uh, I've been working really hard lately, and uh, so I mostly just wanted to relax. And that was nice. But I did review an Xbox One game called Spellspire which is also on Vita, PlayStation 4, computer, and even Windows Phone as a free-to-play game. Let's see, do I want to heal? Yes, I do. Spellspire is like Letter Quest, and so I'm obviously in my review having... Because I reviewed Letter Quest, I talk about the differences between the two games. Um, it's not quite as good as Letter Quest, but it is a good game. And uh, if you like spelling-type games, it's got the battles. So you got word battles, you know, you spell as many words as you can, and that's how you fight enemies. Fun little game, so please check out that review. That is always helpful, guys. Oops. Don't forget the level up... Uh, no, not level up, the uh, achievement guide for Oh yeah, thank you. That, that was the reason I really needed a break. That Injustice 2 guide, that was a lot of work. Like, I don't know, 10, 12 hours of work. And, uh, but, I mean, it, it turned out very well. I'm proud of it. And hopefully a lot of people will find it useful. You know... That's why I don't want to play with you, because you're going <laughs> to kick my butt. No. Well, I mean, obviously I will, but... No. <laughs> oh, wow. That's slow. Yeah, we, we should play sometime. <laughs> that would be fun. I agree, we should. Ah. I do... You know, Injustice... I didn't talk about it in my review. I can't remember if I talked about it on stream last weekend or not. But Injustice has the really cool feature of being able to send an AI fighter into battle for you. So you can upgrade your characters just by sending them in as AIs and so I spent a lot of time doing that like I'll just completely let it be playing itself for a little while while I'm writing or while I'm doing something else I love games that let you do that like the old Forza games used to let you do that and I don't know Clicker Heroes technically <laughs> lets you do that uh, but yeah I love being able to have the game progress while I'm doing something else and that's an option doesn't mean it's not fun to play the game but it's like it, I'm able to get a lot more injustice in that way. Like, I'm able to make more progress than if I had to fight every match myself. Ah. Shield guy. Do not like the show guys. But well, we appreciate your dedication, that's for sure, Paul. Thanks, man. I've, I've got one more injustice guide coming up. Just a little guide to the multiverse mode. Because multiverse is like the big new mode that they added for the sequel. And so it's just going to be a little guide. Like, it's nothing special. I mean... Technically, if you played if you play multiverse for a few hours, you'll probably have a lot of it figured out. But like, I I just wanted to get another story in for that game. And if I had more time, the achievement guide took up so much time, right? There's a lot of smaller guides I could have written, but no, I just wrote that huge guide. But that's okay. I love helping people get achievements. Nice link. Yeah, I feel like it was the storyline that also sold me on buying that game, Cove Island. Uh, I have, I did not play the first one, but I bought the second one for that nice. reason. Yeah, it, it's a good story mode. Like, uh, some people say it's, some people complain that the story itself isn't very good. I think the story's fine. I mean, but I, I have realistic expectations. You know, the thing is, whatever happens in the story, it has to set up a fight between two people. You know, it has to set up a one-on-one -on -one fight. So oh, the yeah. story, you could say it's a little contrived in the way it sets up those fights, but it, I mean, it has to, otherwise that's just how the game works, so I don't care. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, Clunk jumped on my... Hey, Clunk. How are you? Ah. <laughs> Giddy. Oh, crap. Just 
It's distracting me though. See, that's the cat from the commercial. There you go. From the subscription uh, alert. Like, hi, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah. I need attention. That's right, I forgot about that darker player. By the way, yeah, I'm about to start. I have to review Tekken 7, and I hope to do a couple of guides for that, too. Oh, thank you, Mr. Puny. That's so very nice of you. Did I say hi to Latino Heat? I hope so, Latino. Hola, Latino. Bienvenido. Nice. So, yeah, it's going to be hard, you know... Tekken 7's big mistake is coming out right after Injustice 2. Because... Um, that could be, yeah. I mean, there's just no way it's going to be as fun, like, as far as fun goes. Like, okay, sit down. Um, you know, like, people... For instance, Bob, you know, Bob cares more about the fighting mechanics than, like, the whole package. So maybe he would enjoy... I don't know if he'll enjoy Tekken 7 more or not. But uh, for me, I you know the package and the presentation are real important. And so I know Tekken Seven has like good story and stuff, but I just can't imagine it being as good as the gear system. And we'll we'll see how it goes though. Let's see, increase health. Uh, Tekken is one of those games that you stop playing it for a couple of years, you go back to it, whatever version it is. It's always a good time. It's always so over the top. It's, it's I've never spent fun. a whole lot of time with a Tekken game, so I am looking forward to that. You know, I've always been, I've read about it ever since the PlayStation 1, you know, because it was a PlayStation 1 launch title, I believe, or at least a very early release. Well, it's it's think... one of those that somebody has it in their house, you go to their house and that's what they're playing, you're like, oh, what the heck is this? Oh, let's play it. Ha ha ha. I had a friend from Houston, back in the early days of uh, chatting and stuff, I had a friend drive down from Houston. He was like an instant messenger friend and he brought his PlayStation and we played Tekken 2 a little bit. So, that's the extent of my Tekken experience. Do I need health? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Terran. It has been out in Japan for a couple of years in the arcade. It's been in the arcade for two years yeah, at least. Yeah, but I mean, they add a whole lot of stuff to the home version. Oh, well. You know, like the story mode, etc. So, it, it's not like mm -hmm. it's an old mm -hmm. game they're releasing. It's much upgraded. They do that... I don't, I mean, they want to make as much money in the arcade as they can as possible, because arcades still are profitable in Japan. Yep. Japan and uh, a few other Asian countries, they're, they're still very popular. Yeah, and I wish it was like that here. I really miss my local arcade. Well, the, the, the local mall also died, and I think that's, you know, when the yeah, arcade didn't hell, yeah. But also the fact the new consoles caught up to arcades that's too right. much. Early on, arcades were way more powerful than consoles. So, like... You could, That's true. Because, you know, you could charge $10,000 <laughs> for an arcade game. That is true. And I think they get as expensive That's as $20,000 for, like, real huge ones. But, I mean, God, way yeah, too much. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, now the, the thing is, around here, you can go and rent a place for, like, 10 bucks per person, do a party, and then you can play, like, unlimited for the duration of the party. That would be That's kind of cool. And there's no coins, you just go from machine to machine. There's a couple of places, and I was tempted to do it over my birthday, Wait. but... Hey, Konami, uh, good to see you. And yeah. yes, they do. We were just talking about that. Right. Yes, they very much still flourish in Japan. They're, they are still a big thing. <laughs> because they're not, they're not like the U.S. They're not limited to, like, shopping malls. They're just businesses on, right. you know, yeah, a street. True. It's not like here in and, yeah, and some of the big game publishers have their own ar arcades like sega runs a bunch of arcades i believe or at least they used to they probably still do yeah oh, that really? would never fly here in the u.s there's there's all kinds of laws preventing stuff like that yeah yeah i don't remember the only rule was you cannot go wearing a school uniform at least in mexico oh interesting because they don't want you skipping school yeah right uh -huh. it's not a terrible rule well, it sucks because when I left school, I could not go to the arcades because I, I was wearing my uniform, so I had to carry a second pair of clothes so that I could change on my way to the arcade yeah, on you my know, way home. They need to have that rule only be during school hours. I mean, like after a certain time, like in the evening, it shouldn't matter. Well, yeah, like after school, it should be fine ah. because, you know, you should be able to... Uh, well, my school have uh, go afternoon. After school. They, they, some schools have like morning and afternoon. So they couldn't tell if you were morning or afternoon huh. student. So, uh, so yeah, I, I experienced it once. I went and I started playing, and they're like, "Sorry, you have to leave. You cannot be here with a uniform." Big, big thing is that in bars. So yeah, 
Well, I can understand the bar. Because <laughs> you're obviously underage. Well, I mean, yeah. is there a drinking age in, in Mexico? I thought just anyone could... 18. Wow. 18 is the drinking so age. So I've always yeah. imagined there's a bunch of, like, 12-year-olds sitting around in the bar drinking. I mean... Tell me that doesn't I wanna happen. Say the drinking... <laughs> <laughs> I want to say the drinking age in France fake is... Fake IDs. 14 for like wine and beer the you know softer things uh, don't want that probably and germany is probably like instead of uh, gerber they give kid babies yeah. beer <laughs> good beer yeah <laughs> good healthy wheat beer it's kind of thick remember this the simpsons with euro euro itchy and scratchy land you know it was it was making fun of euro disney how euro disney wasn't doing very well and so there's like a, a french guy and he's like Hello, I need money to buy wine for my children. <laughs> that was your the golden age of The Simpsons, so good. Back when it was. I thought you were, thought you were gonna say that they started selling beer and now it's profitable. Yeah, again. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's every day is Oktoberfest in Euro That'd Disney. Nice. I'm thinking you've never actually been to an American <laughs> comic convention, Nikki, or anime oh, convention. Yeah. There's some scary things. Oh yeah. You think? You will. You will be shocked at the. There's a thing called. Uh, in a uh, schoolgirl uniform. Is that her? What did they call that when you cosplay the opposite gender? Is that? Oh, yeah. uh, gender bending. Gender bending. Thank you. Yeah, that that is also very common cosplay. Yeah. And we and we won't say anything That's true. bad about it. No, I think it's pretty cool. I think hey, it's pretty Jesus cool. Hey, Jesus and Ninja, how are you? Yeah, you, you know, I... have fun. Some recent hey, Dark Lucky Six. photos, scary for life. Oh yeah, I did not. Oh yeah, that was. Yeah, he doesn't really have the body for that, that cosplay. That's one thing. I don't think you should dress as like a like a sexy character, like a character. I mean, not to body shame people. You're not like, sexy in normal life. Yeah, you know, yeah, when you, you let you when you that. let your flab hang out, you're you're inviting some level of criticism. <laughs> That's just the way that life works. Well, Palmer Lucky invites yeah. criticism. Yeah, just, just being, being a terrible person is good enough. Add, <laughs> doesn't need to add anything to it. Right. I mean, even <laughs> even if the costume is great, we'd have to say. But by the way, Palmer Lucky, he's a terrible person. You know, just in case people didn't Still know. A bonehead. Sorry, I, I missed muting one time. I apologize for that. You're dead to me, Alejandro. I <laughs> nope, it's still going. No, I was about to die, Terran, but the stream did not die. Oh. Yeah, he's got the the typhoid. Very sad. Ah. I got, I got a mosquito oh. bite. And I think I got a uh, tetanus oh, great. from Malaria. It. Malaria. Or, see, what is uh, this? Chicken box. Shotgun. From a... Always drop shotguns. It's like I don't. What if you don't want shotguns? What then? Okay. So I'm having a lot of fun. I know this. You know, like the visuals are probably not super exciting for for Neon Chrome, but the the gameplay is quite enjoyable, and I'm getting a lot of money, and I'll be able to get a lot of upgrades so that I can get farther the next time I play. You know, at some point I'm going to run out of life and die. I don't know if that'll happen during the stream or not. We'll see. I like the I like the style. I've played several games this kind of type. Uh, been back in the DOS days. Nice. Yeah, it's it's a proud tradition. This type of game I've always liked. Overhead view. Let's see. It's it's not First too bad. Rifle. Huh. It's it's it reminds me a lot of like uh, Diablo okay. and things like that that have the the super high overhead view. The old. Um, Western RPGs. Yeah, that's true. CRPGs. Yep. And speaking of Diablo, guys, I'm reviewing a game this week called Victor Varan, which I mentioned earlier. And it is a Diablo-style game. It's been on computer for a while, and it finally has come to Xbox One and PlayStation 4, I believe. And, uh, yeah, it's a really, really cool game. Four-player online co-op. You play as a vampire hunter. I think the voice actor is the same guy who plays Geralt in The Witcher, at least in some of The Witcher games. Because in part one, I think he had a different cool. voice. But uh, but so far, it's a really good game. You know, I also reviewed another Diablo-style game called Vikings. And Vikings is neat, but this is a much bigger, more robust game than Vikings. You know, there's a lot more polish. The only thing that kind of holds it back a little bit from being, like, a real impressive game is that the view is pretty zoomed out. Like, not quite as zoomed out as this, but close. 
I think if it was a little bit closer, the game would be real visually impressive. Yeah, Nikki and I were playing that a little this morning, actually. Is cool. the Diablo engine available for for developers to build, I guess, clones or? I don't. I don't Whatever think it's publicly them. available, no. but it's not, I mean, it's a it's a genre, you know, people can make games mm. like that pretty easily. Yeah, cause I was playing a game that was just like, exactly the same, they, they probably just made it look very similar for people, to appeal to people who play ah, the Apple. There's a suicide booth, like in Futurama. You just walk oh. in and, a, and the <laughs> mine goes off. You? I mean, it didn't kill me, but the mine's there, so you could stay and get hit by it if you wanted. Wow, yeah, that's wow. sad. That's, that's that's so sad in many levels. That's messed up. It's like that Netflix yeah. show, right? Thirteen Reasons Why. I do not care to watch that. I hear oh, good things no, about it, you. but I, yeah, it's not for me. I don't need to be exactly. depressed. Thank you. All right. One more. I hate experience. movies that they don't give you enough like graphic advisory, and I started watching, it and I was like, oh crap! I, another thing I cannot erase from my memory. Aww. Did not watch the whole thing, but it was pretty. The sad. show? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That show you were talking about. Yeah, a friend of mine. I got a work friend. Her boyfriend killed himself a few years ago, which is real sad. And that must. Jeez. Yeah, it's had a negative psychological impact on her. You know, he shouldn't have done. That's, well, yeah, that's like. That's, I mean, that's everybody has the right to decide if they want to be alive or not. You know, so I don't agree that just nobody should ever kill themselves. Basically, but you do. I mean, one big thing to consider is, well, how will it affect the people in my life? And the fact that he had not stopped right. going, you know, he was still in her life and he killed himself. It's like, that's a mean thing to do. You, you know, and if you have kids, because uh, one of my, yeah, I have a relative whose dad killed himself and that was, that cannot be good for him. And so I just wish that kind of thing wouldn't happen. All right, so I've just got a new gun. Item three out of 14 unlocked in chapter laser shotgun. Yeah, laser sure, shotgun. We'll use it. Cool. Yeah, I don't really like sh shotguns that much. It has a little bit of a spread. It's not too bad. Yeah, so let's move on. And of course, we prefer to... Ah! Man, that enemy has a lot of life. Stop. Yeah, it does. God. And it's yeah, also it really like mean. half my life out. That sucked. Oh, you know what? This laser shotgun is weak. That's the problem. How do you get good at King of Fighters? Is that what you're asking? Play it a lot. That's kind hey, of Johnny old, Walker. old game, yeah, I mean, just like any fighter game, yeah, fighting game. You'll never be good against a, a computer because SNK fighting games have really cheap AI and so they're no fun to play as single player games, which is a drag. At least the older ones. Yeah, I kind of remember that from many, many years ago playing SNK games on uh. the Dreamcast. Hmm. Yeah, they had a really good King of Fighters Dreamcast game. I forget if it was, I think it was Dream Match 99 or something like that. Yeah, King of Fighters 99. I actually owned that game. Nice, so did I. It unfortunately got destroyed because my parents are no. horrible people. <laughs> what? No, they left it out in their storage shed and the, the roof leaked and it destroyed all my stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, well. Hawk can give you his. <laughs> Unless Johnny gets oh, it first. Yeah, Johnny probably wants it. God, I really have to make the time to go through my old games and, you know, get them ready for auction and stuff. I've been meaning to for a couple months and I still haven't finished it. But Yeah, let me know on your Dreamcast if you're gonna auction the games off. I will, but you know, it's probably gonna be like big lots. I mean, probably like two lots. And a Dreamcast game that I always wanted to play and I own, but I just never played, it just came out on PC thanks to THQ and Deep Silver or whatever. And that is Silver, What's that? Nice. the game Silver. Oh, really? Yeah, so finally, wow. you can play Silver, which was a really neat-looking action RPG back in the day. I always wanted to play it. Cool. So, I love when they do that. And Grandia 2, which is one of my all-time favorite JRPGs. Such uh, good music. Yes, it was released... Uh, Grandia 2 has a very sordid history. It originally came out... Uh, you, you brought up the subject, so uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. um, it originally <laughs> came out on the Dreamcast, and then was ported very poorly to the PS2. And then the PS2 version was ported to the PC. And recently, I want to say last year? Yeah, last year. Uh, they 
uh, who was it? Game Game Arts has the um, the license for that to distribute here in the Game West. Game Arts is the developer. Um, <clears throat> I thought they were oh, the distributor. I think it's where they're the actual developer. Grandia, yeah, belongs to Game know. Arts. Um, yeah, they actually decided to redo the PC version of the game, and they actually ported the Dreamcast version, which is the far superior version of the game. I nice. purchased it. It is very yeah. good. Initially, it had a lot of bugs, but I think over time they fixed a lot of them. Oh, great. So here's the second boss. Yeah, they, they fixed most of them. Ooh, a centipede? Yes. Oh, boy. Ooh. Let's see how hard wow. he is to kill. So far, so good. <laughs> My guess is very hard. Oh, we don't have to deal with drone now. robots right now, so that's good. Maybe his legs ah. will split up and start. Oh, those stuck. things do kind of follow you around. Yeah, try not to drop your email address right into the chat. That's... Yeah, guys, come on, just whisper it. You're gonna end ah. up signed up for some stuff you, uh, yeah, you don't want. Like Pulse newsletters oh, and totally. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we do keep everybody's email, but so far we haven't done a mass email. We definitely will around the holidays if we, you know, if the stream is still alive at that point, which I sure hope it is. And remember, you can help us remain enthusiastic about the stream and giving you free games every Saturday by commenting on our articles, by retweeting the, you know, retweeting links, by telling your friends about the stream. Please tell your friends about it. Let's right. Bring them. Yeah, definitely. If I had any friends, oh. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was your friend. Uh, well, you know, you guys are here anyway. <laughs> That's true. He is here anyway. Ah! I let that one sit. I, I don't quite know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, obviously I'm supposed to... Shooting... Yeah, keep shooting the sections. I think the blue yeah, things are shields. Help. Yeah. So you have to not oh God, shield Oh god, it's starting to move faster. Right. It Ooh, is losing goodness. its overall health. That's good. And you started no, pooping that. too. Yeah, you're oh, no, you're blowing up the uh, individual pieces of it, the segments of it. Yeah. He doesn't like it, obviously, but that's what you gotta do. Immune. <laughs> Thanks to the host. Yeah, today, I appreciate it. Ah. Oh no! Now there's drones. Uh, oh jeez, this fight just uh, kind of gets yeah. harder and harder. God, this is not good. Can I get out? Whoa. No, can't get out that way. Mm. Shotgun, do I... Maybe the shotgun will be better here. Shotgun seems quite a bit it. better. Yeah, because whatever you were using before, it was, it was immune to... Uh, I think it, I think it's maybe shots. immune from a certain direction or something. I'm not sure. Because look, it's still saying immune. Oh yeah, like when you hit from the front? Yeah, when you hit him in the face, he might be immune. Because you haven't, uh, uh, you haven't destroyed his section. I section. I mean, yeah. this crowd of enemies... Ah. Yeah, try to try to kill the drone thing. That's the way to go. And it seems like you have a period of time if you don't hit the the shield quickly enough, they yeah, regenerate. That's what so I don't you, like. You have to keep, 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 keep. Yeah. Ah, get too close and it shocks you. Oh jeez. Like, ah. Wow. I fear like this is oh, a view into what the future <laughs> awaits for us when the machines take over. Terminator style. Hey, I'm getting good money out of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, the the uh, drones seem to drop quite a quite, quite a good amount of money. Full oh, sure. drones, drones are just vicious. vicious. So I wanted to talk about a show I've been watching recently. You guys know I love to talk about movies and TV shows. Yeah, I just started mm -hmm. watching a show on yeah. Fox called Lucifer. Have you heard of it? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, nope. it, yeah no. it is going strong. It's renewed for a third oh, season. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's and good. Lucifer is based on a comic book, actually. Like, you hear the name and you're just like, oh, it's a, it's a show about the devil. Interesting. The devil. But it is based on a comic book. It's Lucifer basically is a spinoff of Sandman by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman had a very critically acclaimed oh, comic indeed. called Sandman. And he introduced this sympathetic version of Lucifer. You know, it's like... He runs hell, but he's he's not particularly mean. Like, he basically just does it because God made him, you know? And, uh... <laughs> it's, it's a dirty job. Yeah, and uh, I really, I really liked the comic version, and 
the show, I don't know what kept me from trying it, but eventually I tried it and just fell in love with it. And my daughter and my girlfriend, they really love it too. Interestingly, it's it's a lot like the comic, but it mixes it with a police procedural. So every episode there's a case of the week, because he has a cop friend and he helps her out. You know, he has... He doesn't have all his powers, he's powered down, so he can... He's semi-invincible, but he, he can be hurt in certain situations. And he can... His main power is telling... Getting people to say whatever their true desire is. Like, he can get people to say what they want, basically. But the actor is this British guy, and he is really magnetic. Tom something, I forget his name. But he's perfect. And, like, all the reviews of the show, they all praise him. Because he really is super good. And that's kind of what hooked me on the show, is I just... I really like the main character. Yeah. And... It, it, Wow, yeah, you're it's, gonna not good. it's on Hulu, so if it sounds interesting to you, give it a watch. Let me know what you think. But it, it's easily better to me. Ooh. It's better than all the CW shows. Maybe not Supergirl. I don't know. But like, I don't know. You know, like the stories are good and the side characters and stuff they're interesting. You know, like uh, there's a an angel who's a recurring character who's pretty interesting, and there's a, a demon who works for him who is very neat. Just a great show. Give it a watch. It's TV 14. So silly question. I, I know we have a Hulu subscription at yeah. home. Uh, I don't use it, but you should. I can use it. Is it like Netflix, like I can watch the previous seasons on demand, or is it just It depends like on the TV? show. You know, it, I mean, it's not just live TV, but it depends on the show, like how, whether they offer old seasons or not. Dang, I died. Ah. Yeah, so for this, right for this show, it has all of the first and second season on it. So you can catch up real easily. You know, some shows, they only have the oh, cool. latest four episodes, basically. Depends on the show. All right. Centipede drones have a powerful plasma gun, but you can dodge the projectiles if the number of drones is low. I should have killed more of the drones. But, hey, I got a lot of money, and I can get some good upgrades. Yeah, hey. that's a good amount of money. Did I... Hey, Paul, I noticed you covered your chair. Is this uh, your cat doesn't scratch your chair or just for green screen friendliness? He scratched the heck out of my old chair. and so. Oh, that's what happened to me. I, I just threw away my chair and I just bought a new one this weekend, but I'm, I've been shooing her away, but I know she's going to come and scratch uh -oh. it. So, Jeez. I'm covering it tonight. That's it. It looks like any weapon you found you can buy for your next run. I don't think it's permanently unlocked. But that's interesting. So I guess one of your goals is to pick up every huh. weapon. It's Master Chief's gun. Look at that. And you can... Did it look like that? You can also pick abilities, but I'm sure they're only temporary, so that's why I don't want to just buy them. Interesting. Laser pulse shoot. Oh, last, last night, speaking of Master Chief, I, I was watching TV with my son, and I'm like, Hey, look, let's watch Red and Blue from Halo. Red versus Blue? Wow. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I think we lasted like 10 minutes until the language got really, yeah. really low. We're like, uh, okay, forget yeah. it. <laughs> not, not a show for kids. <laughs> I have no idea. No, I don't know. So, so I gotta watch it by myself some other I'm time. I'm spending all my money on the luck stat. <laughs> luck increases the amount of money that you get from drops. So putting it into luck means that you'll get money for all the other upgrades faster, you know? So that's why I'm putting everything I can into that. And then I will just buy some health. That's all I could afford. But hey, now I am better off. Can I go into the hacks room? No, you have to beat the boss the first time. And the, the final boss, he changes. Oh. There's an Overseer 2.0, so I, I assume that the final boss gets harder the next time you find him or something. What does this do? Oh, you can look at your stats. Achievements, 1 out of 14. So, yeah, we're going to have bad. to go and do a short run. Um, let's see, I'm going to be the hacker again. It's a good idea to always pick the hacker because the hacker makes the most money. So just to... Oh, yeah, you want to get nice. as many upgrades as you can just so it keeps getting easier. So that's why I go with the hacker. But we're going to start at the second waypoint and just see how we do because we've got, oh, 14 minutes of the stream left. Oh. <laughs> Johnny, you'd rather be lucky than good. There you go, Johnny. <laughs> Weapon upgrade. That's my mother. Okay. Don't love the music. Just don't love it. Ah. I don't even hear it. I have to unmute. Yeah, I'm same because I was. I hear you twice. Yeah, and it's no, I, hard I to do not keep up here. You. That is the right way to do it. So is this a thing still where you can 
play your own music on some games. Well, I guess you could just mute the music all the way down yes. and play your own music. But uh, I don't know if games have to support that or what. But I thought you had to have a an X a Zune pass or whatever they call it. What do they call it? Oh yeah, no, groove, groove music pass. or yeah, groove, groove. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Do I want the plat? No, I want the assault rifle. Speaking of that, I need to enter my code to renew my Xbox Live. I, I want to play FIFA. Ooh. I bought it when I bought my Xbox One S and it's still in the box. Dang. Jeez. Yeah. It's going to be too old by the time you get around to it, man. There will be a new version already. Oh, I know. It's, it's FIFA 16, I think. Oh, so it's oh, definitely it... old. Yep. Yeah, because I bought it last, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Black if you don't play that much, you might be better off with EA Access instead. That's true. It's uh, what, 30 yeah, bucks $30 a year? a year and you get access to the old FIFAs as well as other EA games. 30 a year, yeah, that's, that's a really good deal. Yep. And occasionally you can get... Battlefield 4 is on it, on Battlefield there. Hardline is on it. It's only a 20% speed increase, wow. 30% health. Clip size. That is a good deal. I'll check it out. Yeah. Occasionally you can get it for uh, less than $30. That's true. It's been on sale for 25 a few times. Yeah, I picked uh, I picked the code up when it was 25 I think. Good to know. So, it's, uh, it's a good deal. You, know, right, you get Johnny access Walker. to a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of foolishness is. Batman loves about. Superman. <laughs> Lex Luthor is just a big goon. He's awful. Jesse Eisenberg, the worst. Let's see. He's my favorite uh, bad guy, Lex Luthor. He can be really cool. The movies... I mean, I really liked Kevin Spacey, Lex Luthor. But none of the movies have done the comic yep. version of Lex Luthor, which is a shame, because the comic and cartoon version right, is better. Yeah, I agree. Well, wow, your drone is a bit <laughs> <Yes>. stupid. <laughs> it just sits right there in the uh, the, the bomb Poor path. Shame. It gets blown bad right. Bad drone, around. bad Well, at least it diverts a little bit of attention, but... I wish I had more time to play this game. It certainly takes... I would really stick with it over time. I I just have a really good time with it. I wonder how much better co-op would be, you know, if any. Yeah. That would be a great uh, great idea, I guess. Uh, what's that? Sell the Xbox oh. Scorpio with a uh, one-month game yeah, pass. That wouldn't surprise free. me at all. I mean, that's not a very exciting... It's rumor. not a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah. Ion submachine gun. Nice. I hope it's actually good. That one unique weapon yeah. I found was crap. How long is the trial if you get a trial instead of a game pass? Uh, is that a trial? He suggested it would mean? be a one month, didn't he? But to the Xbox game pass. I think there. there's a trial. Oh, the Xbox one. No, I thought we were still oh. talking about EA. Yeah. No, he... oh. I don't think there's a trial for EA access. You can get it for just believe. one month, though, I think. And then cancel before they start billing you. I believe. I'm pretty sure I saw that. I want to say it's like six bucks or five bucks a month. It's it's not much. So if you if you find that you don't like it, you know you can always cancel. Oh yeah, and there's always the Microsoft rewards. Oh, that's, that's weird, Omega Saitama. 14-day trial yeah, that's kinda odd. for the Game Pass. Yeah, the Scorpio is exciting. Yeah, you know, I've been having some problems with my Xbox One S. Basically, it party chat just stops working. It seems to be... The, the bug was introduced with a certain dashboard preview. And for everybody uh, else, an update fixed it. But for me, basically, party is just never going to work on this console unless I somehow turn off the dashboard. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, it's really hurt my enjoyment. Uh, you probably need to wipe it and reset it. But I mean, I've yeah, done I I've done the full wipe three times, and the problem always comes back. Really? Because yeah, my my S. Can you exchange it? Uh, it's made? been too long. Uh, I've had it, haven't I had it for over a year? I wouldn't be able to live without having one for my office. You know, that's the problem is I need it. But uh, yeah, I yeah. I haven't reset it to where it's not on the dashboard. I need to find it, I mean, on the preview. I need to find a way to take it off the preview and see if that solves the problem. 
Oh yeah, it's it's really easy. I actually turned all my Xboxes off the preview yeah. program. I like the preview features, and it hasn't caused any other problems on I mean, my other systems, but this system, yeah, not being able to be in party chat sucks so bad. Yeah, I need to I need to uh, reset my Office Xbox because ever since it was on the preview, it's um every time I try to stream it to my computer via the built-in streaming, it if I'm trying to download something, the download drops to like sub one Whoa. megabit. Oh wow. It's really, really slow. And I have very fast internal network in my house. So there's no reason it needs to do that. I will say and his internal yeah. network it's like two, three megabits per second, very fast. Right? Mm. Uh, <laughs> he's a system admin, I bet he's got that number. I have I have a gigabit uh, network. Nice. I'd like 10. I wired it for 10, but 10, uh, 10 gigabit switches are really expensive. Yeah. They're getting cheaper, but they're still really expensive. I have a Cat6 Ethernet setup. Yep, that'll do 10 gig as long as it's less than 100 feet. Let's yeah, I think about. my longest pieces are like 30. Yeah, feet you'll, be, each. you'll be just so, fine. So they, they work well. The, the Wi Fi is also getting nicer, but. Token ring says with him. <laughs> I've, uh, I mean, if you want to go old school and you know be limited to like 100 meg, sure, token ring would be all right. Well, my first jobs actually worked for a for an ISP provider, and we got free internet. It was dial up, but hey, it was free. Uh, dial up, yeah, I do not miss that. I remember my dad always. Hang up! I need to make a phone call. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's why my parents only let me get on the internet really late at night during the dial-up days when they were all asleep. Yep, same. Yeah, same late thing. at night and do that cyber sexy. Uh, yeah, it was like a 14-year-old <laughs> kid. Oh, did that ever happen to you that you will go to work and I will leave like the internet at home downloading something super huge and then my dad will call me like, Hey, why is the phone not working? Why are you doing it? Oh, I left something downloading that. How long, much longer? Yeah, oh, an as hour, soon as... You know, seven oh. hours later. Yeah, as soon as I could, I got a dedicated line without call waiting, you know, just for the internet. I mean, nice. and that wasn't a ridiculous, that was only nah. like, I don't know, like 40 more, 40 more a month or something. I can't remember how much it was back then, but... Only? Yeah. Well, I mean, for wow. the... I was like a... We're talking about having a good internet experience or having a crappy one, you know? Like, I'm, I've always been willing to pay more True. for good internet. Uh, no, well, I, I left, left in Mexico. the middle of nowhere, so... Well, when I left Mexico, we still had dial-up, and then I moved to the U.S. and I had my first, uh, what was that thing called, the um, DSL. Yes, I had that. Ah. And I was like, holy cow, this is the first world, that is for sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm Check it here. out, before DSL came to my area, I had ISDN. That's how desperate I was for better internet. Wow. Yeah. It, that was some it money was, back yeah, then. Yeah, it was like oh. over a hundred a month for the ISDN, so it wasn't a good value. But wow. It, I mean, it was better, you know. LAN parties on dial-up. Wow. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. Forget that. In the days of the dot-com in one of my jobs, a company that I shall not name, uh, we, we used to have all of our LAN parties when after hours we would play Doom and all kinds of... You know, MP3 servers, all that stuff. Pretty yeah. awesome. Now we just watch uh, Paul on Mixer. Yeah, uh, you simplify yeah. it. We need to be wrapping up because I'm going to need to stop hard in four minutes, ideally. So, what are your final Man, thoughts on this game, Paul? Uh, our reviewer, I wasn't the one who reviewed this. Lauren did for Windows Central. She gave it a seven. I would give it a nine. So I think it, I think it is really good. Like it, it's a little bit of an acquired taste, you know. But like for me, liking roguelikes and liking twin stick shooters and all that, like it is just very, very good. So that's my opinion. If you didn't win it, please consider buying it with our affiliate link. Definitely give Ten Tons some support. Ten Tons makes a lot of casual games. Absolutely. Like they make a lot of little physics puzzlers and stuff. And those games are not my jam. Uh, but. Whenever they make a really good game like this, they deserve our support, you know? That's what I think. They deserve... You want them to get the message that making bigger, better games is a good idea, so it needs to sell. So whatever, you know, if you can't help them out, you do so. Definitely. Oh, here's a 
Yeah, I have not played the previous ones, but this definitely sold me that if I don't win a copy, I'm definitely buying it because it's Sweet. pretty awesome. Sweet! Purple Elevator. I've never found one of these before. Let's try it out. I think it takes you to a secret level or something. Let's see. Lockdown. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's different. Oh, we got a timer. Huh. Oh. Ah, there's... Dude, there's big auto cannons shooting at me. That's not good. Dang, it's like difficulty just jump like five. Yeah, I don't, I don't like those nuts. guys. Oh my god. Push the button and then go shoot them, because I think the button stops oh, them you're for right, three it seconds. Does. I thought he just opened the door. And this gun isn't very good against it. <laughs> yeah, they are, uh, they are kind of... Oh no, they don't yeah. take damage while they're deactivated. That's weird. Why wouldn't they, why uh, wouldn't they take damage? That's, well, that's yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Let's see, do I want a regular SMG? No, I'm going to stick with the... I like... Is there any way to heal your drone, or no, do they just... Yeah, you get another one when you get to the next level. So get some loot. Yeah, but I agree. Yeah, a gun that shoots kind of more widespread will be kind of cool as a as a nice update upgrade. Yeah, I just equipped the mines. How do they work? That's weird. I don't know. Because I don't. Do I have? Oh, it's my left. I forgot. You have a left trigger ability. I've completely forgotten that this whole time. <laughs> So I just sat down. That might be why you. Yeah, keep I hear dying. the mines aren't really very good, <laughs> from an achievement guide I read. But. Oh uh, okay. But yeah, normally I have like more of an explosive ability. I think. But it is time. Let's see. Contest closed. Good luck, everybody. Uh, don't forget, good guys. Luck. Please follow me on Twitter at Paul R. Osvedo. Leave a positive comment on tonight's stream article and. Even more importantly, leave positive comments on our recent articles that Icky has been sharing tonight. And you can always ask me for the links if you don't remember what the links were. You didn't have a chance to open them in another tab or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, And if you're on Discord, Paul also has a, a text channel called oh, yeah. Articles. And he posts yeah, it's a them. good And yeah, right when those articles go up or right when I see if they went up, I post the links in our Discord. So that is also a good way to keep up with my stuff and I just I really need the support and I love the support so please give it to me if you can um, so Neon Chrome is $14.99 it's on Xbox PlayStation 4 it's cross buy on PlayStation so you get it on PS4 and Vita which is awesome and it's a PS Plus game this month so if you have PS Plus be sure to download it and it's on Steam I really liked it thank you Brian and Alejandro for co-hosting a pleasure thank you definitely glad to be here Woo. Congratulations to our live winners. Thank you, Icky, very much for running the contest. Remember, we are taking next Saturday off for E3, but we'll be back in two weeks. So we'll see you guys then. Have a great night, whatever you do. Don't hate. Appreciate. Have a good one. Good night. <laughs>